All right, so official welcome to everyone to our first, I've changed the name of this a couple of times. So I think now I've landed on strength and core uh, just to give me the opportunity to work on a variety of different things instead of being so limited. Um, we are going to start on our backs. And so go ahead and get there. So lowering down low back releases nice and uh, well, just nicely onto the ground. So knees are bent, feet are rooted. Get a little bit more comfy by maybe wiggling around through the shoulder blades, figuring out where your head needs to be so that your neck doesn't feel scrunched. And then settle here for a few breaths. And I'll share that way back in the day when I was in college at the University of Florida, I was a kickboxing instructor. So that was before my, my yoga day. So it was all fire. And one of the classes that I used to teach was called butts and guts. And that is basically what we are going to be working on today. Although now that I'm in the yoga world, I might rephrase that and call it something differently. But basically we're working on core. We're working on the booty. Um, we'll still basically get a full, full body workout. Okay, that being said, let's continue to focus on the breath here. Just letting your morning go, letting whatever awaits you after this class go and simply centering yourself in this moment. And as you slow down and deepen the breath, start bringing more focus towards your navel. And so one of the most effective ways to always be doing core work is breathing correctly. And by that, I mean that every time you exhale, you gently draw the belly button down into the spine or into the mat since you're laying down, right? Bringing the walls of the abdomen together. So let's practice that a few times, just a gentle, regular inhale. And on the exhale, focus and drawing that belly button down in towards the spine, kind of hugging the sides of the body inwards to the midline. Do one more like that. Good. And then keeping the shoulders and the upper back connected to the mat, bring your feet to about hip width distance. We're going to start lifting up and down into some bridge poses here. And so again, notice the movement or the engagement of the core as you lift off the ground. So on your inhale, begin to, it's almost like you were curling that tailbone and bringing it in towards the belly button and then engaging the legs to lift you up. And then you slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Again, curling up lifting up and then lowering down. We'll do two more, curl it up, keeping that focus on the belly, on the core. And one more. Good. And then once your low back settles back onto the mat, Bring your right knee in towards you. Give it a nice big squeeze and extend the left leg out long. Good. And now activate that left leg by flexing through the left toes and picking up that left heel. Hover it about two inches off the mat. So already feeling a little bit of engagement here in the belly. Good. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, you're going to lift your shoulders and curl nose to knee. Inhale, lower just the upper body and exhale, curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl. So very mindful movement, two more. Good. And then release it all and switch sides. So extend your right leg out long, Pull your left knee in towards you. Just give it a nice big squeeze for a moment. And then bring some life to that right leg, flexing through the toes, hovering that heel about two inches off the ground. Take a deep breath in. 
exhale, nose to knee. Sink belly button down into the mat. Inhale, lower just the upper body. We're still hovering the heel. Exhale, curl up. Three more. One more here. Good. Once you settle down, bring both knees in towards you. Give yourself a, a hug and then just shake those hips side to side, rolling side to side. And then we're going to stack our knees over the hips. Keep the toes nice and flexed here. So creating a 90 degree angle with the, the knees. And now I want you to push your hands onto your thighs and then push your thighs back into your hands. So it might not look like we're doing anything, but we're actually really engaging the core, driving the belly button down into the mat and kind of doing an isometric hold here. So hold it for five, four, three, two, one, release. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And again, hands to thighs, thighs to hands. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good. One more time. Here we go. Push against your thighs, thighs against your hands. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hug the knees in towards you and then take your hands behind the knee creases. Rock back and forth here. Getting a little massage through the, the length of your spine. And then eventually rolling all the way up to a seat. Good. And from here, we're just going to take a moment to lengthen up through the crown of the head. Find those sit bones, root them down. Drop the chin down towards your chest. Roll right ear to right shoulder. Bring it all the way back down. Other side, left ear to left shoulder. Bring it all the way back down. One more time to the right and the left. Good. And then lifting back up to neutral, take your hands behind your back, interlace fingers and lift the heart. Good. Release that and take a side bend to the right, reach up and over. Come back to center, other side. Come back to center and make your way to your tabletop. And this is where I would highly recommend a blanket because we're going to spend a little bit of time on our knees as we work on some more core and uh, lower body stuff. So coming to your normal tabletop here, making sure you have the correct alignment, keeping that belly button hugged in the whole time so that we don't allow the low back to sag right? And make sure you're not looking down directly at the knees. You want the gaze to be forward and down so that the back of the neck stays nice and long. Good. And from here, extend your right leg back. So kicking back through your right heel, keeping those hips nice and even. Good. Once you've got your balance, send the left hand forward, left thumb reaches high or at least points up. It doesn't reach anywhere. <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale, elbow to knee, round the spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Bird dog. We've done this probably many times in class before. Two more times. Good. And then come back, take it on the other side. So again, hugging that belly button up and in, send the left heel back, send the right hand forward, right thumb points up, take a deep breath in, extend, exhale with control, elbow to knee, really hug it in, coiling up. Three more. Good. Last one. And then come back to your tabletop. Good. I'm going to release the wrists a little bit. So take your right hand and flip it so that your uh, palm faces up and your fingertips face your right knee. We're not putting a ton of weight on this because okay? we're stretching the, the whole top part of the hand. 
keeping the hands just like that, start adding some cat cows. So we're basically just multitasking here. Just getting a stretch here through that uh, wrist of the right hand and getting some spinal movement. Good, we're gonna continue our cat cows. We're gonna take a little commercial break actually and switch sides. So now bending the left hand so that the fingers point towards the knees and then continuing with your cat cows. Maybe two more. All right, coming back to your tabletop, keeping the core engaged again, this time just focusing on the right glute. So we're gonna pick up the right foot, keep the knee bent and notice I'm sending the right foot up towards the sky, not back, up. So I'm gonna lift it up and then bring it back down and up. And the key here is to keep the hips even. So I'm not rolling all my weight to the left to do this, okay? I'm keeping even weight on both hands. So gravity is my resistance here as I lift that right leg up and down, up and down. Three more. Keep your gaze forward and down. Good, now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna lift, extend, kick it back in and down. Lift, extend, bring it back in and down. Lift, extend, in and down. Last one. Good. Last thing we're gonna do on this right side, is you're gonna extend your right foot back long, point your toes so that they uh, gently touch the mat. We're gonna do rainbows here. So you're gonna lift that right leg and then cross it towards the left and then lift and tap to the right. So it's almost like you're drawing rainbows with your leg. Make this as isometric as possible. I'm not sure if that's the right terminology, but basically it's just the leg moving. We're not doing a lot of hip motion. We're not doing anything with the upper body. Everything is stable. Just feeling the right glute working. One more. Good. And then bring it back in and maybe give yourself a little break by sitting your hips towards the right, feeling that stretch in the right hip, the right glute. Good, coming back to center, curling your toes under, sitting back on the heel. So that's a nice little stretch for the feet. And then just giving your wrists a little break too. All right, ready for side two. So coming back down to your tabletop and we're gonna start with our lifts on the left. So keeping that 90 degree angle, keeping everything else nice and steady lifting straight up to the ceiling and down and up and down. Keep that left foot flexed. Good. Nice and controlled. So our movement doesn't have to be fast in order to be intense. Sometimes slowing it down actually adds a level of challenge. Keep your breath flowing. All right, we're gonna add the opening. So we're gonna lift, open out, bring it in, down, up, open out, in and down, up, extend, in and down. Core is nice and tight. Let's do one more. Good. And then same side, extending the left toes back and then drawing our rainbow. So lifting up this time over towards the right and then up and to the left, up and to the right and to the left. Good, so again, keeping the movement just centered around the left glute. Not so much of a 
whole tail wag. Three more. Keep breathing. Good. And then come back in and maybe sink your hips down towards your left. Good. From here, coming back to your tabletop, you're going to curl your toes under again. And from here, we're going to start just by lifting our knees and hovering them up off the ground. So here we go. And you don't have to have your blanket underneath you anymore. So lift, feel the engagement of the core, come down and lift and come down and lift and come down. Now we're going to add on to this. Watch, we're going to lift, come down and then take our hands off the mat. And it probably feels like a very uh, mild sensation here, but your core actually does have to activate in order to lift your hands off the mat. So here's the eight, seven. It's like you're toggling back and forth, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, downward facing dog, finally, right? So sending the knees and the hips up and back and taking your downward facing dog here, pedaling out through the feet, taking any movement that feels good here. Good, and then walking your hands back towards your feet. And then finding a deep forward fold stretch here. So bending the knees generously, maybe grabbing onto opposite elbows, relaxing your head and neck. Good, relax the hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to standing. Sweep the arms up high. Exhale, take it right back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Come all the way back up. And melt it down one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Good. From here, we're going to walk our hands forward and find plank pose. And here we're going to work on what I like to call painfully slow mountain climbers. So we're going to keep the belly hugged in. We're going to keep basically everything without moving, except for one knee at a time. And you're going to bring your right knee to your right elbow and step it back. Left knee to left elbow. So the less you move the upper body and just let this be core strength and not momentum the more effective. So keep switching side to side. Here's three. And two. And one. Good, now lower your knees and lower all the way down to the belly. Little break here. Maybe bring the hands forward to rest your forehead on and just rock side to side. Good, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna lift back up to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. This time walk your feet forward towards your hands and find a deep forward fold here. Again, any movement that you'd like, any binds, maybe interlacing hands behind the head and neck. And then eventually release that, come all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up high and then bring your hands to heart. So <clears throat> we're gonna work on a little bit of balance and then legs as well here. So what we're gonna do is shift the weight to the left, 
pick up your right knee and just hold for a second. So find your, your balance here. Good. And then keeping the hands at the hips or wherever you'd like, we're gonna step this back to a lunge. And then we're gonna lower for three and two and one. Good. Now lower down to your lunge, take your hands up and on the exhale, make this into a turbo lunge, reaching your hands back, coming into a diagonal. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach back. Stay here in your turbo lunge. Maybe take a small step forward with your right foot, find your focus, fly up into warrior three. Keep those hips even. Keep the crown of the head pointing forward, right heel pointing back, and then slowly making your way all the way back up to your right knee hugging in. And then release. Good, so we'll do all that on the other side. So shifting the weight over towards the right, pick up your left knee, find your balance. We're gonna step it back into a lunge. So step that left foot back, find your alignment here, and then bending into that left knee, lower and lift, lower and lift. One more, lower and lift. Good, come back into your lunge here. So adjust again if you need to, and this time sweep your arms up high. Exhale, turbo lunge. <sighs> Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, turbo, good. Inhale, lift, exhale, turbo. Now stay here, slowly make your way to warrior three, maybe taking a step forward Whew. and then finding flight. Good, now picking up that left knee and finding your balance again and then release. Good, we're gonna do that one more time on each side and then I promise we'll take it down. So shifting the weight to the left, pick up the right knee. Good, stepping it back for lunges, we'll do five. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good, high crescent lunge, exhale into turbo. Inhale, lift. Exhale, turbo. One more. Take this to warrior three. When you're ready, taking flight, keeping your focus, keeping everything engaged. Everything draws in towards the midline of the body. And then picking up that right knee, back down. Other side, you got it. Bring the left knee up. Step it back lunges. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Find your high crescent lunge here and then airplane wings tilt forward. Inhale, lift, exhale, reach back. Inhale, lift, exhale, reach back. Stay here. Take flight. Warrior three, I'm very dangerously close to this desk here. Hopefully you have a little more room to play. And then bring up that left knee and back down. Good. Take a nice deep breath here, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we're gonna take it down to the mat here just to stretch quickly before our Shavasana. So come on down. Good, and then bring your right knee in towards you. You can either grab a strap or just interlace your hands behind your right thigh. And we're gonna bring the right knee in and then extend, good. And if you're holding your leg like I am without the strap, feel free to add a little ankle roll here. 
opposite direction. Good. And then take your uh, right ankle and place it over the left knee for our figure four, maybe interlacing hands behind the left thigh. Good, we're gonna release that, keeping both knees bent here for a little more stability in the hips. Bring your left knee in towards you, interlace the hands behind the left thigh, or you can grab a strap if you'd like, and then kick up towards the sky. Feel that stretch, maybe adding that ankle roll. Other side. Good. Placing that left ankle over the right knee, and then deciding if you want to interlace hands behind the right thigh here. Soften your breath, letting go of all parts of the body that don't require effort right now. Good, and then slowly bringing both knees in towards your chest. And you have the option here of taking a final pose or stretch that you'd like, maybe a happy baby, maybe a supine twist to each side. Or if you're ready to join me for Shavasana, go there. And whatever position you've chosen for Shavasana, all that's required is that you continue to breathe and then you stay here, you stay aware. So it's almost like falling asleep because we cultivate stillness, but we're actually very awake, very aware of the breath, very aware of our bodies laying here, supported by the earth. The mind is bright and sharp because it is not clouded by all the thoughts that normally get in the way. Release all effort. Begin to wiggle fingers and toes, maybe take a full body stretch. And eventually roll to your right or left side. With as little effort as possible, make your way back to a comfortable seat, whatever that might look like for you. And then bring one hand to your heart and bring one hand to the belly. Taking three more breaths in deep gratitude for what our body does for us. And maybe silently repeating to yourself, got you, right? Holding yourself, being there for yourself instead of only criticizing what's not perfect. You are so strong. And with that, we'll bring our hands together to bow forward to end our practice.
Namaste.